Hello everyone, Norma Woodcock speaking to you from Perth and Western Australia. I'd like to speak into the fourth Sunday of Easter, Year A. And the theme, Good Shepherd. Jesus is our shepherd. In John's Gospel, we hear the story on this Good Shepherd Sunday. How Jesus, the gate of the sheepfold, and Jesus, our shepherd. Both images are very important. In those days, flocks were small. Conditions were harsh. And the survival of the sheep depended on the personal devotion of the shepherd. So both images reflect shepherding practices in the Palestine of Jesus' day. I found this so interesting. When the sheep returned to the sheepfold after a day in the mountain, the shepherd becomes the gate for the sheepfold. With his body, he blocks the entrance so that one animal at a time may enter. He has a name for every sheep under his care and the sheep respond to his voice and he checks for any injuries. What about us? Jesus knows the injuries that life has given you the day-to-day struggles, the coping with that difficult child, that difficult spouse, the uncaring friend, the distant relatives, the parents that don't seem to be as caring as you thought they would be and should be. But Jesus, your good shepherd, knows your name and he wants to care for you. And I love that image of Jesus the shepherd because it's his personal devotion, as the story tells us, of each sheep coming through that gate that was his being, that he could check for injuries and he could call them by name and he could respond. I believe that at the end of the day, if you begin to dialogue with Jesus and talk to him about your day, St. Ignatius of Loyola called it the examine just to do a little bit of a reflection on your day. When was there peace and joy and love? When was there anger and distrust and fear? And look at the presence of God in the peace and the joy and the love. And that's where you need to focus, allowing him to be in all things uh, with you and for you. I do believe that intimacy with Jesus is what this is about because the story of that shepherd is the story of a very personal relationship with his sheep. And that is the message for you and for me today. Allow his understanding to heal you and to free you. They have mine in an ongoing way, knowing he understands, knowing he cares. Just come closer to him this Good Shepherd Sunday. Ask him personally to be your shepherd and then share with him at the end of your day the things that were difficult, the things that were good and your relationship with this amazing shepherd will lead you on to ever greater and more peaceful days and weeks and months to come. God bless you. Thank you for listening. I look forward to meeting you again next week. Thank you.